Now, here is how you can adjust the exposure when taking a video on the iPhone. The first option or the first step is to open up the camera app like this and switch over to video like that. And by default, the exposure is set to manual. And it's a good thing because the iPhone just adapts the environment. That's really nice. But in case you want to change it, you have to just click anywhere on the viewfinder, like click on any subject which you have inside of the camera like this. And to adjust the exposure, just slide it up or down, like just click anywhere. And next to it, there is the sun, which you can slide up or slide it down. And that is basically how you can adjust the exposure for iPhone videos. The thing, however, is that it doesn't stay like that. You, you, you have noticed that it just moves. Although I like make it really dark, for example, this is when I go for, if I move the iPhone around, it just gets back to the original, which is something you want to avoid, of course. So to lock it, to lock the exposure for the video so that the, it stays the way that you said, you have to just not only click and adjust it, but hold down and click on it longer. So you get the lock right here. You can see it is locked and now you can slide it down or up. In this case, it is actually going to stay that way. So you can see when I move around, it doesn't change back to the um, previous exposure. So this is how I can do it. Now, there are some important things to keep in mind as well with the iPhone camera. You have noticed that when I lock it again, at the top we have the AE slash AF lock. So what it stands for is auto exposure slash auto focus. So you have it all together. You have put together exposure as well as focus. So it's important. Now, if I want to lock the exposure and I click or and hold on the, the subject, which is my computer here, the background is going to be blurry. The exposure may be the same, it doesn't matter, but it's important where I lock it because the focus is going to be locked as well. If I lock the exposure on the back side, on the background, now I can adjust the exposure, no problem, but the focus is on the background, not on the main subject. So this is an important distinction and it's something to pay attention to. If you, for example, are not happy that it is bundled together, the exposure and focus, the only option you have at this point is to download a third party camera app. And if you are really serious about taking photos and videos on the iPhone, I believe you should actually look for someone. So just open up the app store and look up, for example, pro camera. You can literally just type this in and find the one that you like. I, you can see that I downloaded and tried a bunch of these, but the one which appears to be looking the best or the one which I think is going to be the best one is this one right here. It is not free. I'm not affiliated with them and it's the Pro Cam 8. The thing, good thing about it is that it is the manual camera which captures raw images and it is manual because when you scroll down and look it up in the description, you can see that you have all the manual controls, manual exposure, manual shutter speed, ISO, focus. It's all separate as if you were using an actual DSLR. So you can set up the shot exactly the way that you want. So that's really good, right? It's not like you click and it's not, not as simple as on the built-in camera app. I mean, I get the point for the average user. This is definitely fine. It's more than enough for the usual person. But if you want to be more professional with it and adjust exposure and auto log and features like that, you will need to download a third body camera app. But that's about it. That's all the stuff that I wanted to show you. If you are interested in this kind of topics, you definitely have to check out the link is in the description because it is the Fox Tech educational platform linked there and you can join it for free. And for example, check out the free video editing course in Adobe Rush, which I put together. You can watch it for free as well as in-depth iPhone guides and stuff like this, more stuff coming in the future. Definitely check it out right there and I'll see you inside for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit the thumbs up under the video, subscribe here on YouTube, and I'll see you later on.